In this video, we are going to take on the challenge that you have been asking for, a budget house challenge. We're gonna show you why you need professionals even if it's a budget home. Kasi ako mismo, nasasad ako whenever I see people doing their project without a professional. Guys, professionals can help you save so much money. Make sure your home is well lit, well designed, may hangin, and make sure that it's safe from earthquakes, typhoons, electrical problems, leaks in the future. In the long term, professionals make your house better. So we're going to show you our interpretation of a 1.5 million more or less peso house. Pwede siyang maging rest house, pwede din siyang totoong bahay talaga. And hopefully you can get tips on how to save money on your project while making it nicer. Here we go! So in this video, we're using my brand new MacBook. Ma, my brand new. I got this from Apple Cart PH, guys. They're awesome. They came here, sobrang bubble wrap from Manila to Cebu. So, thank you guys. Anyway, let's start. So we designed this house together with LLG Architects. They're the same architects that designed the Skypod. Check them out, guys. They have a YouTube channel. Meron silang aerial view and construction phase ng Skypod, yung bahay namin. And meron din silang Instagram page where you can get a lot of inspiration from them. And we are going to be working together and designing a house that will be on sale in the very, very, very near future. Gusto ko nang ipakita sa inyo, pero hindi pa lang pwede. Kasi we're just tweaking a little bit. But for now, we shall go in and dive deep into this one. Same theme pa rin na gusto namin. Very skypod look, cement and everything. And we'll share to you what elements we did to save on money. Let's get started. So this is the house. Sobrang sleek, sobrang simple, walang masyadong wall so that it's cheaper. And if you notice, the columns, the black columns are made out of steel pipes. Depending on the structural, it can either be a steel pipe or a composite na merong concrete sa loob and meron pa rin mga rebars. So, depende na yan in the future when we decide. Wow! If we ever decide to build this. Now guys, this is just a concept. So, I wouldn't recommend na kopyahin nyo to tapos patayo nyo. I highly don't recommend that because marami pa tong mga aspects na hindi namin na consider lahat. This took us about a week or two to actually get this done. But, we're very, very happy with yung outcome niya. And as we move in closer, makikita natin na yung design niya is very raw. Yung ceiling niya is raw concrete. Wala siyang beam. Bakit wala siyang beam? Diba? Kadalasan yung mga columns dito may beam and then may flooring on top of the beam. So this one is called a flat slab design. This is from a structural point of view. Ginawa namin this slab in reality would be a little bit thicker, mas marami yung bakal, pero you save on the beam. It's a little bit more expensive, but you also save on the ceiling. You don't have to paint your ceiling, wala ka nang ilalagay na gypsum board or fiber cement board on top of it, and it keeps the design very, very sleek. The thing along with this is that we have to waterproof this after. Yung second floor niya. This is actually a two-story house. And also, this is why you need professionals. Itong mga lights na nakikita niyo, this has to be embedded beforehand kasi sabay-sabay na tong ibubuhos para magiging monolithic. Okay ba? So far? <laughs> we also incorporated the mango tree inside our design. Meron to siyang secret later, I'll show you. 
Pero we felt like sobrang ganda na aesthetic as if you're still outside and you're inside. Mahilig kami sa indoor outdoor living. If napansin nyo. Pero this is the feel. Imagine this in a farmhouse waking up to the sunrise. Sobrang ganda. And imagine if it's by the mountains, so mahangin. Actually, sobrang nagustuhan namin to guys na when we saw the finished product, we were actually thinking of building this in real life. But who knows? Maybe in the future. This is from the front. Ito yung view niya. And meron pa kaming furniture na nilalagay na hanging na swing-swing by the mango tree if you look closely. And ang technique dito, since it is semi-indoor, semi-outdoor, the furniture should be outdoor furnitures. Yung mabigat para kung malakas yung hangin, di lumilipan. And this is another angle and here we can see the staircase going up. This is the koi pond. The spiral staircase that you see here is a little bit more expensive than the usual staircase. We just wanted it to have an extra oomph. From the rear, we can clearly see the mango tree going into the second floor. And meron tayong stone finish na ginagamit. So with this stone finish, pwede tong i-upgrade nyo as you go along, as your budget increases. So this can actually be a bare wall lang. And then pag meron na kayong budget, lagyan natin ng tiles or stone finish or even paint. So this is a very flexible design. And that's why you need to consult talaga with architects and designers so that they can guide you and fit the project to your budget. As I mentioned, this is a 1.5 million peso house. This is not including all the furnitures, but the basic, barest form of this is around 1.5 million. And you can either go up or make it cheaper depending on the design. I'll tell you more about what makes it cheaper, what makes it more expensive later on. But for now, let's keep on going around the house. So this is another angle of the house. This is where mas makikita natin yung indoor outdoor feel. And then yung first floor natin dito, makikita natin is semi suspended. May konting overhang lang yan. Just to make the design a little bit more sleek. Parang nagfo float yung bahay niya. Next, we go inside the house. Now, these are, again, not final, but there are a lot of things that you can do to make it accommodate your budget. For example, yung mga wood cabinets, kung hindi natin afford yung mga mamahaling cabinet, pwede natin gawin is just use marine plywood. Finish lang natin, and it's gonna have that very, very raw plywood look na may finish lang siya, sinil lang natin. If you look at the ceiling, ito yung concrete ceiling na sinasabi natin. I feel like we can change this up a bit, make the furnitures even heavier just because it is partly outdoors. But we'll talk about it more later on on how we actually close this off. So itong ceiling dito guys, is actually the same ceiling that we use here in the Skypod. Or, you can finish it in a way na pareho sa wall namin, yung board form walls namin. And um, if you notice, meron pa on the right corner, may pusa. <laughs> Ngayon ko lang din napansin, nilagyan pala nila. And these are actually sliding wood panels or you can make it folding. The other way, if you want to save money because walls are cheaper than these sliding mechanisms, pwede natin i-close off permanently and may pintuan lang going inside the home. So, a lot of things that can still be improved or changed depending on the budget for this house. And if you notice, dito rin meron din tayong nilalagay na, na slot that can either be for rain, you can have panels that are movable and you can just slot them in if walang budget, or we can make sure that meron siyang glass that can cover it all the way through. Lagyan natin ng sliding glass. So again, this house, it fits your budget or even you design it like this the first time and you upgrade as your budget grows. And ito yung indoor-outdoor natin na CR. And if you notice, we use concrete in everything because hindi na natin if you finish, this would be a lot cheaper and you can actually save because of this. We made sure to have an open area. So parang meron pa rin siyang indoor-outdoor resort feel and it helps with the lights, especially during the morning. Maliwanag pa rin siya. And the counter is concrete. 
The floor is concrete, wala tayong masyadong tiles because that would make it even more expensive. But of course, you can upgrade again in the future. Meron pa tayong incorporated na rain shower sa taas. That is a little bit more expensive, pero for design purposes, nilagay natin dyan. And now, we move into the second floor. Ito yung secret na sinasabi ko, guys. If you notice, my net tile around the mango tree. This was the idea of LLG Architects na pwedeng mag-lounge. Yung idea ko was to save on the stairs. Dito ka aakyat <laughs> going up. Yung mango tree mismo, lagyan natin ng steps so that you can go up. But I feel this would be a more relaxing style na medyo may hammock area siya na incorporated into the house. It's safer also <laughs> kaysa sa may butas dyan and dun ka aakyat. Again, sobrang minimal na mga railings. We tried to keep it as minimal as possible. Actually, pwede nga tong tanggalin yung railings. So, adults area lang talaga tong nasa taas. Walang railings. And your barriers would be the planters. So, this is another angle. Meron tayong area where you can barbecue. Again, very heavy furniture ang nilalagay natin just to make sure hindi na blown away by strong winds. But imagine if lagyan natin ng lights yung mango tree at night and then you have an awesome view of the sunset. Sobrang ganda na area na to. The most expensive part, personally, I think, is the second floor, making it the flat slab design that we want, as well as the waterproofing. That is the most expensive part of this house. Other than that, and damin yung nasa save. Okay, so if you're wondering na kung bakit, uy, isa lang ang bed na nandito, it's because meron tong slide out beds for people that have kids in their home. So this is a very simple house, medyo rest housey yung vibe, but it can still work for a family home, a small family home. Kasi my provision siya for more people. Okay, so to give you an idea of the flow of the house, basically when you enter the house from the steps, meron tayong kitchen and meron tayong living area, the mango tree on the right, and then meron tayong bedroom on the left. Meron siyang sliding doors that can slide and close off at night. So itong area na to will always be closed off. Depending on the design, you can actually make this closed off as well if you want. Meron siyang mga sliding doors, sliding windows that can pocket here and hide here. But with this design, to keep the cost down, we made sure everything here is an outdoor furniture area so that it won't be blown away. And then when you go to the back, meron tayong spiral staircase that goes to the second floor. The second floor, has these counters para pag may party, may barbecue area, meron tayong dining area, and this is a very chill area under the tree. Ito yung hammock area natin. Guys, this has been so much fun conceptualizing this, making it real in a way that we can see it. We have coordinated with LLG Architects. They did a lot of good work when it came to this one. I hope to have shown you the importance of having the right professionals on your construction team. And uh, give LLG a follow, guys. We're doing something very special in the near future and I can't wait to show you guys. But for now, this is me saying, I'll see you guys later.